Hello and welcome to another episode on the LDO Design and Simulation in Altium Designer 24. Today I will focus on a step response, step response for the output uh, voltage. So we will observe how the output voltage uh, responds to a sudden increase in the load current. For this I will use a voltage controlled switch uh, which is presented on the screen at the moment. And this voltage controlled switch will just short the R6 resistor, which is one kilo ohm. So before the short, so and the short happening at it's happening at three milliseconds. Uh, so before third millisecond, the current uh, flowing from the output of the regulator is about 3.6 milliamp because we have one kilo ohm here. When the voltage switched, uh, when the switch um, is enabled, then I will have a one ampere of current because the R6 will be just bypassed. Okay. And today I will also use another, uh, a different operational amplifier to be used as an error amplifier, just to present you or just to fight against the valley that we can observe when the one ampere of output current is uh, is flowing from the output and when it's connected in a very short amount of time. So there is a huge slew rate of the current. Well, you can observe it actually on this plot here. Let me change just one option because I like to, uh, I like to have the plots zoomed in the same uh, uh, instant uh, together with the different plots. So now you can see when I'm zooming here, the current. Okay, I don't know what's exactly the scale here, but you can see it's definitely a very very steep current uh, source uh, current sink. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, let's begin with a uh, with a feedback loop that we have added in the previous episode to increase the stability of the loop. We can double check the bandwidth of the loop with the values presented on the screen. You should be familiar with this circuit uh, from previous episodes. I will also make the bold waveforms so you can be easily to follow uh, to follow up. Okay, so we have like 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz, and the bandwidth then is limited by this RX1, CX1. I will just increase uh, this uh, CX1 to increase the bandwidth. Let's make it 100 or 10 picofarads first. Let's, let's push the LM358 to the limit. AC analysis. It's one megahertz, one microvolt, uh, one volt per microsecond. Okay, we see a very huge spike at the at the um, magnitude. Let's do the transient just to observe the ringing because now we should see pretty nice ringing. Yes, and we see. Okay, I will dump it uh, with um, another network that will connect the output to the feedback node by this RC component. So we should be able to dump this uh, unwanted oscillations. First of all, let's run the AC sweep just to observe if we have increased uh, or decreased the peak. Yes, the, the peak is definitely decreased. Let's see if we can live with this peak uh, for a while. I think we can live with it. Okay, let's just run the AC once again. I want to see when the, uh, at what frequency the gain of the loop is below zero dB. Having the AC source here, of course, just for an indication. Okay, and so it's about 20, 30 kilohertz, 20, 30 kilohertz. Okay, let's get back to, uh, transient analysis, transient plot. And in this case, 
we have only this tiny bit here so the, the valley is really reduced and I have configured the automated measurement so we can see now that the minimum voltage is 3.519 so 3 volts 3.52 volts okay <clears throat> let's replace the amplifier with a modern one 30 megahertz 10 volts per microsecond so that should be much faster because we want to have this uh, v-drive signal to be as steep as the current load okay of course the mosfet will also add uh, some delay some inertia to this regulation however having a faster operational amplifier should always help you and can also make some issues with the stability let's run first the ac sweep Oh, uh, I want this to disappear. And now, okay, then we, uh, in the previous case with LM358, we had uh, 30 kilohertz. Now we had more than 100 or almost 100 kilohertz of the loop, band, loop, loop bandwidth. There is a tiny peaking, we can live with this. Uh, the face is looking good. There is, uh, the face is always lagging, so we are stable. Let's observe the transient. <clears throat> and let's zoom in good that looks pretty good and okay we jumped from the 3.52 to 3.58 so the, the valet at the output voltage is pretty well reduced and let's observe also the in this uh, sorry in this scale the output voltage, the V-drive signal, as you can see, it's also much steeper in this case. Let's get back to LM358 and let's do the transient simulation only, just to compare those two plots. Let's run it again. Yes, and this is LM358, which is pretty slow. The previous amplifier was much faster, the LT1630. Okay, let's get back to an, uh, our faster operational amplifier to be used as an error amplifier. Let's run the transient. And let's try to push this amplifier to the limit. So let's reduce. Okay, let's reduce uh, what we can reduce here. I don't know. Uh, let's go to AC first. And then probably this 10 picofarads, 10 kilo ohm, and this 1 kilo ohm can still affect our bandwidth. So I will just make it like open circuit, which is 1 picofarad here. Well, it's not open circuit, of course, but I want to push it beyond 100 kilohertz, and that would be a good... Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, we see oscillation. So probably there is a peaking in the AC response of the output. Yeah, there is. Uh, okay, uh, so we earned about 20 kilohertz, but we paid for it, but we paid as well the stability. Um, so I think that brings us to the limit of the LT1630. We can maybe reduce the impact of this node as well. Okay, a huge picking. So that's not the way to go. So I think that's all regarding the step response. Probably if I will find another amplifier which is even faster, then we can increase the regulation and the valley even more. We can go back to transient. It's not good transient response with this picking and with this oscillations. Okay, but it's only at the V-drive signal and the valley is pretty well damped and there is no overshoot when we reduce the load to zero. As you can see, the operational amplifier or the error amplifier tries to do what he can. Uh, five, volts, uh, 5 volt is the power supply, so it almost touches the, uh, the floor, the 5 volt, because it sees that there is a 
um, no more need of a one ampere of current so we need to close and uh, shut off uh, turn off the q1 mosfet as fast as we can uh, get okay uh, so i think that concludes today's episode thank you for your attention have a great day